What's up everybody? I am Classic Carpenter, music producer, vocal cellist, songwriter, singer, recording artist, all of the above, musician, yeah, yeah. But um, tuning in today to give you guys an update on the JBL studio or the JBL monitors that I got a while ago. I guess I could say JBL studio because today I just got a new subwoofer. And that's kind of what this video is all about. I'm going to unbox the subwoofer and attempt to hook it up. You never know. I don't know if it came with plugs and stuff. I kind of did a quick order this time and didn't check all of that cord thing. So we'll figure that out once we got the box open. But I'm going to let you guys also know what I use to record. So when you hear music that I've done or music that I will be doing coming up now that I have a recording studio and I'm in L.A., just moved here about four months, well, five, six months ago, maybe, maybe say about, uh, maybe about five months ago. End of January, it's June now. No, it's July. Tripping, man, time is passing by fast. So, about five months ago, enjoying it, loving it. It's a kind of strategic move in here, but it's a little different. I'll get into that on another video. I think we kind of already talked about it. You can go and check it out. I moved from um, Northern Virginia, Alexandria, Virginia, and I drive all the way over to LA. But, you know, I'll give you some tips and stuff like that in another video about what I did when I moved here and how even ride share helped and getting situated, all of the above, different strokes for different folks. So, this is the Motif XS. This is what I produce with. This is my pride and joy as far as the Motif, Yamaha Motif. I enjoy their sounds. And you know, of course, I love all the other sounds of some of the other stuff out there. But I enjoyed working on the Motif when I first started working on the Motif. I was basically producing with some headphones on and I didn't really have a studio monitors. I had a, like a, I think it's like a, a computer surround sound. So I, these are really the first, these JBLs that I just recently got are the first real professional monitors that I've had since I kind of left Mississippi over 10 years ago and kind of been bouncing around and, you know, finding my sweet spot and this is the sweet spot. I'm in LA, loving it once again, but I produce on the Motif XS, record 16 tracks, lovely sounds. Uh, I can record straight into the keyboard, save it on my USB external drive and you know can be pretty independent with it got my cello started playing classical training classical I had a private teacher and everything when I was around five years old also got a brother Sashmo he play as well um, I played for 20 years stopped playing for about seven years like nothing nothing and then started back playing rented a cello got my fingers back sweet and then kind of um, started doing improvisation, you know, kind of really wanted to do something that really didn't have anything to do with orchestras at the moment, so just kind of do my own thing and enjoy playing the cello and, you know, I enjoy playing the cello now. It's really have kind of filled in a very big hole that I had there for a while. I um, use the MacBook Pro, this is what, 2010, JBL's LSR 308s. And I just got these a few months ago. I love them. They sound very clear, crisp. I enjoy the sound from them. Still got some mixing and mastering to learn. So that's really one of the focuses that I'll be focusing on really for the next few years is mixing and mastering my own music. <clears throat> I started taking producing serious about 2003. So I've been kind of making beats here and there. and But, you know, we're going to bust this um, box open in a minute. I got MXL V69 microphone. This is what I recorded some cello projects on before. I record some vocals on it. I love how it sounds. It's about a $300 mic. I need to get some tighter rubber bands at the moment. Um, that's from having it hanging upside down for too long. But I love it. It's a good mic. What can I say? We're going to bust this box open. Alright, here we are. So, we got the subwoofer that just came in. We're going to unbox it. So, this is a JBL um, LR308. 
IS310. And I actually get a decent bass sound with the uh, 308 monitors. So I'm curious on how much more of the sound this is going to add. How much more bass this is going to add. Man, this is a big ass sub. I wasn't expecting for it to be this big. Houston, we have a problem, but I'm gonna figure it out shortly. Cause all I have is one of these. So I'm going to have to even make sure that I can even run all of these, which I should be able to, because that is not what that is about. But we're about to make it work. So I would say it just needed some quarter inches to run. into the back of the monitors, into the input of the monitors. So, we try to get more creative. Man. And that's gonna take up all my knee space. Investments. It's important to invest in stuff. Keep investing. That's basically what this means. I need a proper desk. Proper studio desk. I'm trying to look out for the neighbor. It's like, why is he doing all of that? Number one, because I'm on a budget. Number two, because I'm a nice guy and just trying to look out for the neighbor. This is LA. They cater to the musicians. They let us get away with a lot because they just shut down live street performing in DC. No amps, only that acoustic thing. Shout out to all the street performers in DC that will be affected by that law change. Let's see what we got back here. All right, let's plug it in and see what it do. Light up here tells me that it's on. I think I heard it right then. Did you just get my password in there? Don't get my password. No, I didn't. So let me load something up. Okay, nothing's coming through the sub, so let's look at this a different. Let's go back to the instructions.
hot in here, but we're getting the job done. 